autograph my flag, please, Sam? Of course, Norman. I can't wait to watch you score loads of goals. I'm going to be your loudest supporter. Oh, no, you are not, Norman Price. I promised Bella Lasagna you'd help her at the pop-up pizza stand in the park today. Ah, Mum! Don't forget, Flaming Hoses. It's not how you play the game, it's whether you beat the pants off Trevor's team. Don't forget, Ponty Panda United, you need to win the game. Can we have the coaches to the pitch for the coin toss, please? Ah, Trevor, my old sporting rival. We meet again. We do indeed, Norris. You look a little nervous. No, just a little worried about how upset you'll be when you lose. <laughs> Up she goes. Heads, tails. Ow! Ooh, heads. Ah, oh, it's not fair. Why do I have to help Bella on the day of the big... Football match? Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Ciao, Norman. Grazie. It's so nice to have a willing helper to die. Uh, 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 excuse me, I'm missing the game. No time for a football, Norman. We have customers. Show them to their table, please. Pronto. Oh, name. Bronwyn and Charlie Jones. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no, but... Uh, this way. Ooh, we've got an amazing view of the game from up here. Really? I hadn't noticed. So nice to get away from the Whole Fish Cafe and try something different. Hmm. I'll have the... Seafood pizza, please. Ah, oh, so many choices. Um, what would you recommend, Norman? I'd recommend you hurry up with your order. Nice one, love. She's nearly as good at football as I am. <sighs> oh. Here, Sam. I'm open, Elvis. Oh, no. Stop. That's not how you dribble. This is how you dribble. Uh, to me, sir. I'm free, Station Officer Steele. I've got this all under control. No, Elvis. Lion, jump! It's easy, you silly cat. Look! Oh. 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 Where am I? I'm the worst circus ever. Let's go. Wait! If you leave now, you'll miss the spectacular finale. What is the spectacular finale? Uh, um, um... You'll see. That's more like it. Wait till you see it all lit up. Nothing like recycled Christmas lights to brighten up a model village. <gasps> oh, no. Fire at the flats! It's OK, sir. I've got this under control. My poor... Innocent village. Behold my spectacular circus sheep! Now this is entertaining! Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery! Jump, my woolly wonders! Better call for him and Sam. There is a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. 
Chipandi. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast and set up a blockade. Right, we'll need Arnold, Ellie and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. <laughs> Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it all the way up, Joe! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. All out, Sam! Yeah! I'm so sorry. My guitar machine caused a fire, Sam. Luckily, no one was hurt, Mike. Now, have you two got something you want to uh, say to each other? Let's, Let's get, get the, the band, band back, back together. together. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Juggling was great, but I missed your double double boof boof. And I missed your plang, plang, plangity, plang. Wait a minute. I never played plang, plang, plangity, plang. And I never played dubba, dubba, boof, boof. Oh. I always played plang, plang, plangy, ching. Well, I never heard a ching. And as for your blum, blum, blibbity, blum, I played blum, blum, blibbity, blum. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on my interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. Thank you. That's Ruby. Thank you. Norman, Norman, this isn't time. Norman. Shh, I'm on a call. Flyers above the train top. No worries, Sam. Norman, so look! Your phone call works! <gasps> it's 
It's a UFO! UFO! Aliens! Oh, Norman? Shh! I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom. Stormy for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. is ready to launch some, and I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. Uh, having a penguin 
in my room isn't quite as much fun as I thought it would be. You think? Your room is totally wrecked and stinks of fish. Maybe you need to get him into some water. The Ponty Pandy Pool is nearby. We could take him there. Now! How are we going to get him into the swimming pool without anybody seeing him? What am I going to do with all these boxes? Now, Elvis, I think it might be better if you filled out the hydrant forms this time. OK, Sam. That way, I won't think about that poor, lost, little, waddly penguin. Pressure at 1.7 bar, Elvis. That's all you need to put down, Elvis. 1.7. Elvis! <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, uh, I thought I'd do a missing poster of the penguin. In case anyone sees him. I'm thinking I'll just remember the 1.7 thing, Sam. Probably a good idea, Penny. Right then, Mr Penguin. Time for you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rill. Or Ocean Breeze over Cardiff. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. I wonder what's in this one. Oh! Oh, no! My whiffy candles! Oh, no! Fire! Oh, oh! The door's blocked. Too many boxes. I need to go upstairs. Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. Oh, oh, oh. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? She'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, dear. I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, you were back. How did it go? Oh, we didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. Sure. But, uh, which way is the shore? OK, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now, don't move. Taking it in three, two... Give me back my sausage! No, it's gonna... It's gonna have to come back! <laughs> Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone! Why would he take the dinghy out in this weather? The tide's come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids. We need to call Fireman Sam. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben, Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. OK, Sam. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. <laughs> Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. 
boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some grit left. Marvellous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a word! I'm fine! Good job we've got some grit left, sir. Shaky, shaky, son. Shaky, shaky, Ellie. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. Norman! Norman! The... That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> Off the ice, everyone! I can't! <gasps> Whoa! I better call Fireman Sal. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. I think we're OK. The ice is melting uh, and the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. I'll get Norman. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Oh! Ah! Now look what you've done. My human Sam can't reach me. I sing my songs till I think I'll burst. But I never forget the time of Fireman first. I love to rock and I love to swing. But the thing I love best is when that fire bell rings. A ding-a-ding, a ding-a-ding, ding just one, one more verse. Everybody, Everybody knows the time of Fireman first. Flat and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. <laughs> Come on. 
castle heading north, northwest south. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot. <gasps> no, stop that. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault. We should have waited like my dad told us. Ah, <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both OK. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh! <sighs> now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? It's his big moment. Oh, oh dear. Don't worry, Bradwell. I can do it. I'll save the froggy fantasy. Show, not you! But James hasn't turned up! It, oh, stupid flippers in it! Voila! Me water lilies! Me Aaron! Me scenery! We'd better call Fireman Sam! The Lido. The Froggy Fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the Lido. The Froggy Fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. To the Lido! James? James! Oh, no! Here comes Tom and Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam, we can't find James. He didn't do his froggy finale and he's... He's not... locked in the changing rooms! What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut! I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no. What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. It's all right, James. Stand back. Uncle Sam! I got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. OK, Tom. I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. On my way! Be careful, Hannah!
because of my amplified advert? No, we saw Mandy's posters. Ah. What's over the due back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. Hmm. I hope they're not in any trouble. Good girl. A flare! It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get that tune ready. Elvis is on his way. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. <laughs> Told you! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The battery's dying. You did remember to charge the Submaster power pack, didn't you, Dad? Oh, well, I, I did, but then I needed to plug in my cappuccino maker and Mum's curly tongs. And... <sighs> I'll take that as a no, then. My day! to call Fireman Sam. Joe Sparks is trapped at the bottom of the ocean in a submarine that's run out of power. Joe Sparks is trapped at the bottom of the ocean in a submarine that's run out of power. Sam, he's just off Ponty Pandy Island. Sam, she's got her foot stuck. 
What are we going to do? We haven't got time to go back and get more diving gear. I'm going in. We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I, I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mum will be really cross. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. You got something in your eye, Norman? Eh, uh, no. I... Look! Up there! I, I see something red, and it's moving. It's the fox! No, Norman, that's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? I just wish I hadn't had that pork pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now, a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not. It's a kite. Oh! Are you all right, Trevor? Uh, I think so. Wow! It's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm proud to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favourite chocolate treat. No, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving him lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes. Maybe a few. Mystery solved. <gasps> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Go get them, boys. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh dear. Gotcha. We're floating away. Only one thing for it. <coughs> What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh dear. Sam. Grab hold of the end! Oh, thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah! You see, the thing is, we used them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. 
There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, oh, nothing left. Well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild men, men of Ponty Penny. We should get a photo. Great idea, Mandy. Everyone gather together in front of the bear. Just wait till the wild men of Newtown see this. Shuffle back, everyone. Right, that's more like it. Now, everyone say, Grrr! Grrr! What, the Grizzlies? We better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I will get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman's Arm Challenge! Hooray! Oh. Now, I just need to finish this. We're back! Oh. Oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else, but it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Tolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. OK, sir. Keep going, sir. 
Keep going. It, ooh. No, wait, what for me? Riddling and oh dear. That's because you got to sit in the middle. Right then, who's next? Me, it is me. me! It's me! For me, please! Okay then, room for two more. Ah. Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Lizzie! Come and have a look at this! <sighs> He does it. Everything yeah. all right, yeah. sir? Oh, but what do you think, Crittington? Whoa! Oh, no! Fireworks! There's a fire! Yeah. In the tent! Where they're keeping the fireworks! There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. That lot could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Oh. Penny, you keep the firework boxes hose down. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. I think we might need some new toffee. Ah, oh. and a new pan. Wow, Sarah, that's amazing. What's amazing? Where? Thanks, I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But, so this game is called In the Tale on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? My house! My cat! Ah, this is so nice and peaceful. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station officer Steele has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter, Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Firefighter, Ready, Sam. Air 100%. 
To a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price! Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountains, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Hey, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped. But I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? Two experts are better than one. What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Oh, she'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. They get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Shout, he'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fun. 